Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you're great. I hope you had an amazing weekend. And on the other hand, me, I'm I'm super homesick. So yeah, in today's video, I'm just gonna be doing a review for you guys on one of my favorite foundations, a Revlon Color Stay foundation, um, which is something that I have had in my collection for such a long time. So I thought I should do this video for you guys. So if you would like to see that, please keep on watching. So as you guys can already see, I've already prepped my skin. I washed it and I moisturized it. That's why I'm looking all glowy and this is just what I love. I love seeing my skin looking like this. So I'm gonna start off by first uh, priming my skin with the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. I feel like I'm... Oh, I actually put in... Guys, no. Please don't put it the way I put it. I feel like I put in so much. I, Andy, back to the shame, like, there was really no need for me to do that. Like, uh uh, the battle sana, there's literally no need. So, this is actually my first primer. I do want to try out other primers because, yay, <laughs> I don't really know much about them. Um, but this one was highly recommended, so I've given it a try and I do like it because it does leave a smooth finish. It, I don't think it's hydrating because my skin is pretty much um, like normal to dry skin so yeah I wouldn't say it's hydrating but it definitely does leave a smooth finish um, for a great application for your foundation I'm just gonna go in with one pump and I'm just gonna use the first pump on Well, I'm going to use the first pump all over my face, but I'm going to start with one side so that you guys can also see the differences and just compare for yourselves. So I'm going to be using this brush, which I've been uh, using lately. I've been trying it out because I don't usually use brushes. I'm usually using a beauty blender. So, I actually tried using this brush yesterday, that's why it's, um, it still has a bit of foundation. I also feel like the more I keep, you know, um, watching makeup artists and watching other people's different techniques, I feel like the more mine also keeps getting better and better because I love learning and I love to um, hear what other people, you know, like their techniques and what they do. Hey, but also guys, I've been going through a lot lately, hey. I've just been missing home. I'm actually doing a countdown until I go back. It's been so bad. Like every day I just wake up and I think of South Africa. Oh, I just wanna go back. And my heart literally just dances with like because of happiness. Every time I think of going back home and the plans that I have, you know. But all in due time, I'll be back. Okay. So, so this is how it looks with one pump and this is the side without the foundation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the rest of the pump on this side, then I'm going to show you the finished look, then I'm going to go in with the second layer. <laughs> Sana, please don't show because it's rough. 
literally. So this is how it looks with just one pump and I feel like it gives off that natural finish and this is how I usually do it um, anyways with this foundation so I'm gonna go in with the second pump and usually if I'm using two pumps I'm probably going out night out you know like that kind of vibe so I'm gonna try that out for those of you guys who would like to see a little bit of more coverage just stay that is done and I'm finished as you guys can see it definitely is um, a buildable and I feel like two pumps is the least I can do I'm not doing more than two and I feel like it's you know yeah it's good enough and it does cover up the spots the little spots that I have but I also I don't have like really really dark spots my spots are pretty light so they are covered I also feel like you could wear this on its own if you're not somebody who likes contouring I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a um, finish off the look uh, of camera and then I'm gonna come back and I'm just gonna tell you guys about the foundation I've finally finished my look I'm actually also quite shocked about this cut crease because I've been practicing it and I feel like it's not bad we're getting there slowly but surely I'm going to start off with the packaging so this is how it looks and um, is it focusing it is um, so this is the packaging and this one has a pump and what I can basically say about the Revlon foundation is from my experience is the fact that I have been using Revlon products since I was in university. It was actually one of my first brands that my mother bought me so I've been using it ever since. Um, I feel like I've been using this foundation since they didn't have the squeeze top and um, I think they've changed the formula also. And the foundation is a 24 hour wear so pretty much that means it lasts longer and I feel like <laughs> we are not wearing foundation for that long and this it's like you know going out for group or morning bang and that's when you're gonna do those two that's when you're gonna do those two um pumps and you're gonna you know be cute be out there doing the right things but anyways so that's what this basically means and my shade is in the color caramel the foundation also has an spf 20 so that means you should wear your sunscreen <laughs> just because the foundation has it doesn't mean you shouldn't be wearing your sunscreen don't rely on the spf on any foundation it's good that foundations have it this particular uh, foundation that i'm using this one is the normal um it, this one is for the normal and dry skin um condition and that is my skin condition because i have uh, normal to dry skin they also do have a range for combination 
I think combination oily skin so I think that one leaves more of a matte finish whereas this one leaves more of a natural finish so um, what I can definitely say about this foundation I love using it mostly in winter because it does have you know that dewy finish I think you can also use it in summer but for me in summer because I sweat I actually prefer using a matte foundation if you guys have tried this foundation and um, what has it done for you tell us in the comment section we also need to remember that we all have different skin types so what may work for me may not work for you what may work for you may not work for me so um, Tell us your experiences with uh, the Revlon Color Stay Foundation and just in general, like any experiences with Revlon products, like yeah. Um, they do have other foundations, I think they have a photo finish foundation, they do have a new uh, full coverage foundation, it's also Color Stay. Sorry about that, my camera just was doing yells but anyways um as, as i was saying which i haven't tried i haven't tried out the new full coverage um foundation and yeah i can't wait to go home so that i can get access to all of these things but anyways thank you for watching this video i hope you really liked it if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up please share please like uh please comment and also please follow me on my social media platforms i will have everything linked in the description box.